Sonic booms shaking buildings in the capital city of Lebanon and fighter jets flying overhead. Israeli Defense Forces saying they're striking Hezbollah targets in Beirut to degrade terrorist capabilities and infrastructure. The U.S. has designated Hezbollah a terror organization. The Israeli strikes come after multiple rockets were launched by Hezbollah today, killing at least two IDF soldiers, according to Israeli authorities. Those loud booms from Israel could be heard as Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah addressed the public, speaking after two days of deadly attacks on Lebanon. Thousands injured and dozens killed on Tuesday and Wednesday after walkie-talkies and pagers belonging to Hezbollah members exploded. So everyone should consider the fact that as of right now, they can no longer use their cell phone. They can no longer trust their laptop. They can no longer trust anything that has that can receive or send an electronic signal. Nasrallah calling the attacks a criminal act and a major terrorist operation, an act of genocide and massacre, saying it amounts to a declaration of war. Israel has yet to publicly claim responsibility, but sources confirmed to ABC News that Israel was in fact behind Tuesday's attack. An Intel source confirming to ABC News that Israel had a hand in the actual manufacturing of the pagers involving shell companies. U.S. officials urging de-escalation from both sides. There is a real problem that needs to be resolved when it comes to uh, northern Israel and southern Lebanon, uh, and that is the fact that since October 8th, Hezbollah has been firing rockets into Israel. Israel has been firing back. Secretary of State Antony Blinken insisting that the U.S. had nothing to do with these attacks and was not told in advance of the details. But sources tell ABC News that the Israelis did alert U.S. officials that there would be an operation against Hezbollah. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.